The big difference, of course, is the growth and uh, not getting to know everybody that I, I used to. Not only do kids grow, but so did the school districts that serve them. Frisco ISD has experienced much of this throughout the years. Uh, this is my 15th year, and uh, we've grown from 3,700 students uh, to over 40,000 students in the last 15 years. I've been here 25 years. Uh, my first year of teaching in the 80s, we only had, uh, started out at Frisco Middle School, we only had one middle school. And then when I moved up to the high school, five years later, we only had one high school. And we had about 300 in the high school. Frisco ISD currently has 30 elementary schools, 12 middle schools, and six high schools. And some are now bursting at the seams. Each year we're getting more and more students, just as everybody else. And our freshman class and sophomore classes are much bigger than our senior class and our junior class. So um, in the next two years, we'll be around 2,000 students. We opened in 2008. We opened just a little over 600, and today we have over 850 students. We've grown every year, and uh, you see that all across the district. We have grown by 100 students every year consistently. We are nearing the 1,200 mark as far as student population. We have around 1,185 students currently here at Fowler which is um, the largest middle school that has ever existed here in Frisco ISD. Campuses are doing different things to accommodate greater numbers of students. We do have um, portables that have been brought in to accommodate our growth. And band members at Scoggins are turning to closets to squeeze in their musical notes. Well, definitely we've had to use our space a little more efficiently uh, than we have in the past. The opening of three new elementary and one middle school in 2012 and a new high school in 2013 will provide some relief. We will lose approximately 20% of our population about um, when the new school opens. Uh, we'll lose a good portion of what is Craig Ranch just north of here. So um, we'll lose whatever students who would go to Scoggins Middle School. We will lose those to the new school that will open. It will definitely uh, help our class sizes and help us to uh, be better able to use our space. At least one of the four elementary campuses that feed into Fowler Middle School um, will be routed over to Van Deventer Middle School. Bledsoe, who's taught in the district for many years, sees benefits. Uh, when we started creating separate schools, we started to have uh, district rivalries, which was good, um, but it also allowed a lot of kids to participate in uh, activities that they wouldn't normally able to participate in. In addition, Frisco ISD has the Career and Technical Education Center. Then when they opened the CTE Center, it allowed a lot of opportunities for kids to take classes that they wouldn't normally take. Matter of fact, a lot of classes we offer, they have to wait until they get to college. And uh, of course, that's very helpful to let them decide what career they're going to choose. Campus sizes are being adjusted as a result of growth. The fast growth, we, we've had to look at uh, expanding those numbers a little bit. The elementary right now is 760. Middle school, we try to keep it to uh, 1,000, but we uh, do have some schools a little over 1,000. And then the high schools, we've recently uh, are expanding uh, to 2100. Frisco ISC is dealing with the growth by opening new campuses and reworking the number of students each school can accommodate. More people equals more smiles for Frisco ISC to share. I'm Erica Mackler for Frisco ISC TV.